Okay, boys and girls, here it is the final review of the Perfigrade Astray Red Crane 1 to 160 scale. As you can see, I have his uh, regular arm on, which all could have seen in the Let's Build videos that I made, which contain 22 parts. I love this figure, it's so detailed, especially the inner frame is so detailed you wouldn't believe it. It's just, uh, when it's your first perfect grade and you're just used to building uh, no grades, high grades on a few master grades, it's just like, whoa, where to start with pen lining, it's just so much detail. And, uh, <coughs> Yeah, even his armor is nicely detailed, uh, like uh, on his arms and such. I mean, if you do bend it, 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 it seems like a very natural bend. It, it's, it's it's very natural. It's almost like he has real muscles on it. I don't know how to how to explain, but it's very very nice. And I showed you all the uh, possibility um, uh, in the naked frame, in the first part. So let's go over a few gimmicks that he has. First, you can, you should be able, but well I can't, to lower this piece so you can slide this out. But I've also seen it, you've seen it in the Make a version of it. It's pretty difficult to get it out. There. there we go. See, it's the cockpit with the little logo guy in there that you can barely see. It doesn't work that well in with all the armor on. And it's a pain to get it back in there. Some armor pieces pull off, like uh, the lower grey bits of uh, the torso and these grey bits on the sides on the big knee thing here. They tend to uh, pop off every now and then, but it's, it's not that they fall off that easy just when, when you're uh, working with figure. Um, you all know that in the let's build videos I said that I didn't have any batteries for the head. I do know, but sadly the light doesn't work. I've bought a battery yesterday and uh, it just doesn't work. Too bad. I've spent an hour trying to get it to work but um, I'm guessing I've got a bad light, but it's a shame, no, but what can you do about it? Um, nice detail on him, on his head, there's stickers, I don't know if you can see, or the V-fin is in its way, uh, if you can zoom in. Well, it has stickers that says Astray, on, on also if you look at the shoulder now, there's that, that heart with the rehome uh, thing, and nice detail on the stickers and things like that. And even here on the green it says, uh, it says the MBFPO2, which I also put a sticker on his hand with, if the link can zoom in. Uh, there we go. And also the little green things on the head have the MB uh, purple pups. So it's very detailed. It is fun to build. It takes a lot of time, but uh, it's not as not that difficult. I mean, I find master grades perhaps a little bit more difficult, especially small ones just such as crossbow because okay, crossbow was my first master grade I've ever built, it's my first perfect grade, but uh, crossbow had a lot of small parts which was difficult and took a lot of time. Um, this I'm used to building kits right now so it, it 
you know you can speed things up a bit but the instructions were a little bit difficult to understand from time to time with pictures with what, what going where but all in all it, it's not that difficult I mean switching the armor I did that without the instructions so it, it's not that easy uh, I mean it's not that difficult um, what can you expect from this kit? If you've got the normal kit, expect a grey beam rifle, a standard beam rifle, you know, this thing's wiggles, and he has a little pack here. There, he has a little pack, so which it can store on his back skirt. That's one thing you can expect. What else? These two uh, beam uh, sabers with a nice warning symbol sticker on them. Very nice. It says uh, danger. Very nice. And of course two long pink beams. Which are also nice to detail, just like the 1 to 100. And if the camera can zoom in, you can see that it, it, it has some flaming texture on it. If the camera can just focus, well, yeah, you can, yeah, that, there it is, there it is, now you can see. So, very nice, and they're uh, very big. I mean, they're standing on a desk there. Uh, almost as high as his shoulders so very very nice so let's put these back also they have the hole here or the slot there so it can fit in his hand What else can you expect? It isn't a red frame without the Cerberus Strait. And this is the Cerberus Strait. Very long, it's in a C sheet and it's even bigger than the ashtray. But that's with the sheet. Take it out, a nice chrome uh, blade. Katana blade. And this thing is so much detailed you wouldn't believe it I mean try looking at the gold if the camera can focus there it's just phenomenal at the lower half you can see some uh, demon with horns and stuff and it's the same as the s on top this piece here also has a face or line esque thing in it Camera can pick it up almost there. Uh, well, you get the idea now. Focus camera, you're all blurry. Yeah, yeah, wow, out of focus. You gotta love it. I hate it, and also two uh, slots for holding in the hand. One of these. Which is just the uh, mountings for uh, Siberia Strait. The sad thing is, uh, you've got to store the katana like this with the groove upwards. Our regular uh, samurais have it down like this. So the, um, the 1 to 100 scale has it like this, but the uh, perfect rate sadly has it like this. This is something you can uh, store the katana with. Here has a small hole, and here, and there's a pack, and here is a small pack, and there are a hole and a slot. So what you do is you first put in the lower pack, make sure this piece is fall back, this, and then you just slide the top half over it, put it on like that so you can't get it out. That is the storage for. Uh, for the Siberia Strait. 
Also, the, sh the sheet has the Sibylla Strait sticker on it. Uh, trust me, it, it's there. I mean, it will take up a whole lot of time if I need to show you every little uh, sticker detailing. Just trust me that it is there. You've got this piece here.